Hello and welcome friends. In this particular module, we wish to discuss about automobile pollution, types of emissions, effects of pollutants and some potential methods for the reduction of emission. So as you learn the content, you will be able to state the types of the pollutants which are induced because of vehicle. Also the common effects of the pollutants and some common methods for the reduction of the pollutants. Let's get introduced with the background of automobile pollution. This automobile pollution is a major source of the air pollution around the world due to the number of and kind of the vehicles that are available on the road as well as also off the road. Just I wish to convey a small thing here. There is small difference in the words namely automobile, vehicle, car, etc. However, for the sake of understanding the concepts associated with the air pollution and caused because of the vehicles, I would be using these terms synonymously. So, the pollutants which are being emitted because of the automobiles have several harmful effects on the human health as well as in general atmosphere. The pollution is mainly associated with cough, headache, nausea, irritation of the eyes as well various bronchitis and visibility problems for the people in addition to lot many effects on the plant as well as the property. With the changing societal trends, with the increase in the earning level, the need, growing urbanization as well as attitude of the people in addition to continuously developing technology has caused the use of variety of the vehicles for various purposes. The other factors of the vehicle pollution in the urban areas are two stroke engines, poor quality of the fuel, usage of the old vehicles, inappropriate maintenance of the vehicles, various driving cycles as well as congestions in the traffic, poor road conditions and also old automotive technologies and traffic management system. Based on the 1980 data, Pevi, in his book, mentions that 55% of the overall air pollution is due to the automobiles. However, as we see the recent references, this transport sector contributes around 90% of the total emissions in India as well in urban areas the automotive emissions are responsible to the tune of 50 to 90 percent of total air pollution. The various studies and reports give the list of the pollutants that are caused because of the 
emission of the vehicles. So this could be carbon monoxide, oxides of the nitrogen, photochemical oxidants, air toxics namely benzene, aldehydes, butadiene, lead, particulate matter, hydrocarbon, oxides of the sulfur as well as polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. Some of that can be understood better. This ozone is the primary ingredient in Arman smog. This ozone is created when hydrocarbons and nitrogen oxides released due to the automobile fuel combustion react with each other in the presence of sunlight. The ground level ozone can be major irritant for the respiratory system causing cough, choking as well as also the reduction in lung capacity. Second pollutant is particulate matter. The soot, metals are emitted through the vehicle exhaust give the smog its murky color and pose the serious threat to human health by penetrating it deep into the lungs. This particulate matter is also a major cause for the reduction of the visibility. Nitrogen oxides are a cause for the lung irritation and respiratory infections such as pneumonia and influenza. In addition, they assist in the formation of the ozone as well as also the particulate matter. The carbon monoxide is odorless, colorless gas which is formed due to the combustion of the fossil fuels such as gasoline. When it is inhaled, it interferes with the transport of the oxygen through the vents and accordingly it interferes with the working of the brain, heart as well as other vital organs. The newborn child as well as the aged people and also the people with chronic illness are especially susceptible to the effects of carbon monoxide. The sulfur dioxide create, is created by burning the sulfur containing fuels, especially diesel. As we move ahead, we will discuss better, but the content of the sulfur through the fuel is considerably reduced nowadays. However, if present, it may react in the atmosphere to form the fine particulate and can pose the health risk to the young children as well as people who are suffering from asthma and respiratory diseases. If we consider the major effects We can think of various phenomena which would be affecting region as a whole as well as even at the international levels. So the first such effect can be considered to be global warming as well as depletion of the ozone layer. So the emission of the greenhouse gases into the atmosphere is a major cause of the global warming. It is a concern over the world and deliberate efforts are being taken in order to reduce the effects associated with the global warming as well as the global warming itself. With the ozone layer depleted, the harmful UV rays can reach the lower surface of the earth and it would non-reasonably 
interfere with the normal living conditions of all the living organisms on the planet of the earth. Some of the studies have shown that the transportation sector in India emits around 261 tons of carbon dioxide of which 94.5% is contribution of the road transport. The transport sector in India consumes about 17% of the total energy and responsible for 60% production of the greenhouse gases from various activities. As such, the pollutants which are emitted because of the plying of these particular automobiles as well as because of the usage of the automobiles is the major reason for deteriorating the quality of the air. Also, as far as the global warming is concerned and the quality of air emission of the pollutants are concerned, various treaties have been signed in order to establish the control on the emissions and hence in order to maintain in general ambience of the atmosphere. However, if these particular commitments which are made through the various treaties are not observed, it becomes questionable as far as the international reputation of the specific country is concerned. We also discuss about the various health effects, could be heart diseases, aggravating asthma, damage to the central nervous system, respiratory diseases and also these particular effects are associated with the plants as well as marine life. The effect of the emissions can also be connected with the tourism of that particular region. It is but obvious that if the region is polluted, the international tourists won't prefer to visit that particular sites, which would subsequently lead to the reduction in income of foreign exchange. These particular pollutants are also a major reason for smog as well as acid rain and also the loss of the property. So as we studied in the initial lectures, the nitrogen oxides contribute to the formation of the smog as well as acid rain and they are very harmful as far as human life, plant life as well as animal and property is concerned. As we consider automobile as a source, we can just think of some common logical ways in order to reduce the emissions. Some of the specific ways in order to establish the control on the automobile polluted emission would be discussed in the course of these particular presentations. According to the present trends, vehicle pollution cannot be completely eliminated because as everybody agrees, there is a need of the vehicle in day to day life. But with the usage of this particular vehicle, as the pollution is inevitable, one has to take the conscious efforts in order to reduce the automobile pollutants. Some of the common ways to establish the control on 
these auto well pollutants can be enhancing the people awareness there are many people who do not know and also do not care about the effects of the pollution because of an awareness hence carrying out the civic education through various government as well as non government organization may play a great role in order to bring the positive change in every country there is a strong legislation which can be very useful if enforced strictly to establish the control on the pollutants from the automobiles the properly maintained vehicle can also be a proper way to establish the control on the emissions usually with the changing trend in the technology associated changes in the fuel as well as the change in the policy of the government there is a necessity to discard the old vehicles which are causing considerable emission because of their improper engine running if some people come together and if they go for pulling a common car it would cause reduction in the traffic on the roads as well also the same money which could be individually spent this is very good way of reducing the pollutants which otherwise if individually used would cause the emission from their vehicle one can go for certain alternative means of the transport say for example if we consider cycling it would assist one to maintain their health as well it won't be causing the emission of the pollutants from that so here instead of going for say individual vehicle if someone goes for say mass rapid transit or common vehicle like bus so this will lead to reduction in the emission of automobile pollutants so thank you for your attention this is some introductory session as far as vehicle induced pollution is concerned as we move ahead we will focus on each of the aspects of the vehicular pollution in detail so in coming presentation we will discuss about working of internal combustion engines so by till then i wish you very happy learning thank you